स्टूडेंट सेकेंड पी यू सी अमाइंस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द कमिंग सेकेंड यूनिट टेस्ट एंड एनियल एग्जाम यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमाइन हियर द स्ट्रक्चर इज पिरामिडल एंड नाइट्रोजन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज एस पी थ्री एंड बॉन्ड एंगल इज वन नॉट एट डिग्री यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्सरी अमाइंस एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन इज टू प्रिपेयर प्राइम अमाइंस फ्रॉम नाइट्रो कॉम्पाउंड नाइट्रो कॉम्पाउंड लाइक नाइट्रोबेनजीन ऑन रिडक्शन विथ पेलाडियम इट यूज अनिलिन then ammonolysis definition and the general reaction is very important but ammonolysis disadvantage is it gives a mixture of primary secondary and tertiary amines that's why it is not a quite good method to prepare amines it is difficult to separate them one more method to prepare amine is from amide when you do reduction of amide in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride you will get amines another important reaction of this chapter is preparation of primary amine aliphatic primary amine by gabriel thalamide synthesis by taking thalamide you will get aliphatic primary amine aromatic primary amines cannot be prepared by this method because aryl halides aryl halides do not undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction easily that's why you cannot prepare aromatic amines by this method another highly important reaction of this chapter is halfman bromamide degradation reaction so in this reaction amide compared to reactant amide and product amine there is one carbon atom less for example if you take two carbon acetamide you will get one carbon amine methyl amine if you take three carbon amide you will get ethanamide if you take benzamide you will get aniline so this is also very important reaction next in the basic strength of amines you know the basic strength of amine is because of the presence of lone pair of electrons on nitrogen now remember compared to ammonia aliphatic primary amines are more basic because they have electron donating group and aromatic primary amines are least basic because uh, aniline for example aromatic primary uh, aromatic amines they have electron with drawing groups that's why they are least basic and in gaseous state tertiary amines are more basic because they have three electron donating groups and primary amines are less basic because they have only one electron donating group and in aqueous state we have two cases methyl amines and ethyl amines among methyl amines secondary amines are more basic and tertiary amines are least basic and in case of ethyl amine secondary amines are more basic and primary amines are least basic then carbyl amine reaction is very important where aromatic primary amines and aliphatic primary amines react with chloroform and koh to give foul smell isocyanide highly important then diazotization reaction is important where aniline react with nitrous acid and hcl at 0 to 5 degree celsius to produce benzene diazonium salt then hinsberg reagent is highly important benzene sulfonyl chloride is the formula and it is used to differentiate primary secondary and tertiary amines when you add hinsberg reagent to amine the product formed if it is soluble in alkali it is primary amine if the product formed is insoluble in alkali it is secondary amine tertiary amine does not react with hinsberg reagent because in tertiary amine nitrogen does not have any hydrogen to react then action of bromine water on aniline it gives white precipitate of 2,4,6 tribromo aniline so this is a formula of diazonium salt r n2 plus x minus example benzene diazonium chloride then one more important reaction is conversion of aniline into para nitro aniline here you cannot directly use nitrating mixture because nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent it will oxidize amine group so you need to protect the amine group by doing acetylation then you add nitrating mixture then you'll get para nitro aniline so these are the important question answers from amines chapter